Hey everyone, Gabe here from Team Genius. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add players. If you have not already gone through the setup process, I do recommend you watch the previous video in this video series before proceeding. To add players to your assessment, you're gonna to want to click on Add Players here on the home page, or you can go to Players, Add Players, and you'll see your options to import players. If you have previously formed Team Genius teams within an assessment, you can, you'll see a different option down here and you can click there to actually add players from that Team Genius team formation. Otherwise, if you plan to use our integration partners, Sports Engine or Team Snap, you'll want to navigate down to the help button here, type in Sports Engine or Team Snap and you'll find help articles on how to import with that integration. If you plan to use League Apps, you can click on Add Players from League Apps here and you'll find an article on how to set that up on their end. But most commonly, people do add players from a CSV file, so that's what I'll be showing today. If you click on Add Players from CSV, you can download a sample file, sample CSV file here, with some different fields that we recommend that you do add. Once you have your CSV set to go, you can drop the file in here, just below select a file to import. You'll then see a preview of your CSV and can click continue. The system will then try to map each field correctly to its correct column. If you'd rather not bring one of these columns in, you can click the X. If one of them does not map correctly, you can hit the drop down arrow and select the correct field. If you want the system to email multiple emails, say Guardian 1 and Guardian 2 and the player, map each of those fields to email. The only fields that are required are first name and last name. However, we highly suggest you import first name, last name, email, and birth dates every time. Those are our four unique identifiers and those make sure that there's not gonna be any duplicates in your system. If you wanna customize one of the fields, for example, if this is their coach's name, you can click this X here, you can hit the drop down arrow and create a new custom field called, let's say, coach's name. You can then hit save, and you'll be able to come back here and find coach's name at the bottom. On the far right side, we have a few to go over. If you plan to assign player number at the check-in desk, you'll want to leave this blank. If you do want to pre-assign player numbers, then you can map this. Player numbers can also consist of a color of their jersey, for example, next to uh, the number. If you want to bring player pools in, which most clubs do, you'll want to have their age group or their team under player pool. And that will also create new player pools under this tab if you didn't already create those player pools and if they don't match correctly or exactly. Under evaluation group, evaluation group is typically a jersey color at tryouts if you have a scrimmage going on and is a group within player pool and can be assigned as well with this import. Once you have all these set correctly, you can use these mappings. Make sure that you do ignore the first row if you have a title row. And you'll be brought to this page where it'll show you a nice overview of players that were added, players after the save, and it'll let you know as well if there's any warnings. Once you hit save players, it will do the import and we'll cover player check-in in the next video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to check in players so they show up in the mobile app. In a tryout assessment, player pool, typically age group, and player number are required in order for a player to be scored in the mobile app. In a coach or in-season assessment type, a player only needs a player pool, typically a team, assigned to show up in the mobile app. On this page right now, only Conan is showing up in the mobile app. That's what that green there stands for. The yellow means that something's missing. So in this case, Penelope is missing player number. If we did assign her a player number, she would turn green and then show up in the mobile app. 
and Adam is missing a player pool, an age group or a team. Also, once you assign a player pool, you have the option to assign an eval group. Typically, eval group would be group one, group two, group three, or red team, blue team, green team, yellow team. So you can create different subgroups within a player pool. And you can do that directly in here, or you can assign that in bulk with your CSV file. Any of these players and pools and eval groups, you can actually bulk assign them as well. So if you need to bulk assign them to the same age group or player pool or eval group, you can do that. Before you do get to the check-in desk, I recommend that you customize your dashboard to the correct page size. So if you'd like to see 100 players on this page at the same time, you go to that size. And if you wanna make any additional columns visible, you can do that under the gear icon to say view their coach's name or maybe their jersey size, or maybe you don't care to see gender. You can make that invisible here by checking this box. At a check-in desk, typically the admin will ask a player's name and type that into the search bar. Once you do that, you can click on their assignments to clarify their player pool is correct and give them their penny number or assign them a penny number or jersey number or player number at that check-in desk. You can also assign them the eval group at this point and correct any information that might be incorrect in here. If you need to delete a player, you can also delete the registration here and their information will then be updated. If you have a player who does not show up, that means they most likely did not register and you'll wanna add them as a walk-up player in the top right-hand corner. You can easily assign them to a player pool, a new player number, an eval group, and capture all of their information in here. Once you hit save, that will add that player in to the rest of the players in the mobile app for the coaches to score. If a player is trying out for multiple age groups, you can click the plus button here to add an additional player pool as well as a new player number. And if you do need to change the assessment type, for example, if you don't need to have player number in this type of assessment, you can go back to the home page, click on the three dots on the right side of your assessment name, change this assessment type, and move that over to a coach evaluation if you don't need jersey number. If you do need a jersey number and you have the wrong type of assessment, you will want to move over to a tryout assessment. That's all for this video. If you ever need help on check-in, please do not hesitate to reach out. We know this is an important step in your process.